Probiotics are beneficial bacteria that can promote a healthy balance of gut microflora and support digestion. Here are some probiotic-rich foods consumed globally. Let me know in the comment box if I didn't mention the probiotic-rich food you eat. Yogurt. Yogurt is one of the most well-known probiotic-rich foods. Look for varieties that contain live and active cultures. This is consumed globally. Kefir. Kefir is a fermented milk drink similar to yogurt, but thinner in consistency and typically contains a broader range of probiotic strains. Very good for the GI tract and is consumed globally. Kimchi. Kimchi is a traditional Korean fermented vegetable dish, usually made with cabbage and spices. It's rich in probiotics and offers a tangy flavor. Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is another fermented cabbage dish, originating from Germany. It's high in probiotics and can be enjoyed as a side dish or topping. Miso. Miso is a traditional Japanese seasoning made by fermenting soybeans with salt and koji, a type of fungus. It's commonly used to make soup broth and adds a rich umami flavor. Tempeh. Tempeh is a fermented soybean product originating from Indonesia. It's dense and nutty in flavor, making it a versatile ingredient in various dishes. Kombucha. Kombucha is a fermented tea beverage made by fermenting sweetened tea with a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, SCOBY. It's effervescent and can be flavored with fruits or herbs. Pickles. Fermented pickles that are fermented rather than made with vinegar contain probiotics. Look for naturally fermented pickles in the refrigerated section of the grocery store. Kvass. Kvass is a traditional Slavic fermented beverage made from rye bread or beets. It's often enjoyed as a refreshing drink and can contain probiotic bacteria. Natto. Natto is a traditional Japanese dish made from fermented soybeans. It has a distinctive flavor and is often enjoyed with rice or as a topping. Atra. Atra is a Filipino condiment made from grated unripe papaya, carrots, bell peppers, onions, and garlic, fermented in a vinegar and sugar mixture. It's often served as a side dish or topping and can contain beneficial probiotic bacteria. Kinala. Kinala is a Filipino dish similar to ceviche, where raw fish or seafood is marinated in vinegar or calamansi juice along with spices, onions, and chili peppers. The fermentation process involved in marinating the seafood can introduce probiotic bacteria. Burro. Burro is a fermented rice dish popular in the Philippines. It's made by fermenting cooked rice with salt and shrimp or fish paste. Burro is often eaten as a condiment or mixed with vegetables and meat. Amarhu. Amarhu is a traditional South African fermented maize porridge. It's made by fermenting maize meal with water and sometimes sorghum or millet. This fermented porridge can contain beneficial probiotic bacteria. Maju. Maju, also known as Ayameru or Mahu, is a traditional South African non-alcoholic drink made from fermented maalai meal, maize meal, or sorghum. It's a thick, creamy beverage that's often consumed as a refreshing drink and can provide probiotic benefits. OG slash PAP. OG, also known as PAP, is a traditional fermented cereal pudding made from maize, sorghum, or millet. It's a popular breakfast dish in Nigeria and is often consumed with milk and sugar. The fermentation process involved in making OG can introduce probiotic bacteria. Fermented cassava. Fermented cassava products like gari and fufu are staples in Nigerian cuisine. The fermentation process involved in their production can lead to the growth of beneficial bacteria, contributing to their probiotic content. IRU slash Dewadawa, IRU, also known as Dewadawa in some regions, is a traditional Nigerian condiment made from fermented African locust beans. It's commonly used to flavor soups, stews, and sauces, and can provide probiotic benefits due to the fermentation process. Injera, injera is a traditional Ethiopian flatbread made from teff flour, a gluten-free grain native to Ethiopia. The fermentation process involved in making injera allows for the growth of beneficial bacteria, contributing to its probiotic content. 
Tella, Tella is a traditional Ethiopian beer made from fermented grains, usually barley, millet, or a combination of grains. It's often homemade and consumed during social gatherings and celebrations. The fermentation process in Tella production can introduce probiotic bacteria. Ergo, Ergo, also known as Kita, is a traditional Ethiopian fermented bread made from wheat flour. It's similar to injera, but thinner and softer in texture. The fermentation process involved in making ergo can lead to the growth of probiotic bacteria. Fermented bamboo shoots. Fermented bamboo shoots are used in various Jamaican dishes, such as stews and curries. The fermentation process involved in preparing bamboo shoots can lead to the growth of beneficial bacteria, potentially providing probiotic benefits. Fermented maize porridge, Coco Coco is a traditional Ghanaian fermented maize porridge. It's made by fermenting maize meal with water and sometimes millet or sorghum. The fermentation process involved in making cocoa can introduce probiotic bacteria. Fermented millet porridge, TZ TZ, also known as Hausa Coco, is a traditional Ghanaian fermented millet porridge. It's similar to cocoa, but made from millet instead of maize. The fermentation process in TZ production can lead to the growth of beneficial bacteria, contributing to its probiotic content. Kithil treacle, kithil pani, kithil treacle is a traditional Sri Lankan sweetener made from the sap of the kithil palm tree. It undergoes a natural fermentation process during production, which can introduce probiotic bacteria. Amba acharu, amba acharu is a traditional Sri Lankan condiment made from pickled mangoes. It's often flavored with spices like chili powder and mustard seeds and can undergo natural fermentation, introducing probiotic bacteria. Fermented rice dishes. In some regions of India, fermented rice dishes like dosa, idli, and appam are commonly consumed. These dishes are made from fermented rice and lentil batter, which undergoes fermentation with the help of natural bacteria and yeast present in the environment. Pickles, achar Indian pickles, known as achar, are made by fermenting vegetables or fruits with salt, oil, and spices. Traditional Indian pickles are often left to ferment in the sun for several days or weeks, allowing beneficial bacteria to develop. Kanji, Kanji is a traditional Pakistani fermented drink made from black carrots or daikon radish, water, salt, and spices. It is typically consumed during the winter months and is believed to aid digestion due to its probiotic content. Laban, Laban, also known as buttermilk, is a traditional fermented dairy beverage commonly consumed in Saudi Arabia and other Middle Eastern countries. It's made by fermenting milk with specific strains of bacteria, similar to yogurt, and contains probiotic bacteria. Fermented beverages. Fermented beverages like sorrel and mabi are popular in Trinidad and Tobago. Sorrel is made from the sepals of the sorrel plant, Hibiscus sabdorifa, and undergoes fermentation during preparation. Similarly, mabi is made from the bark of the cola acuminata tree and is naturally fermented during the brewing process. These beverages can contain probiotic bacteria. Incorporating these probiotic-rich foods into your diet can help support your gut health and overall well-being.